So the look that I'm going to be doing today is a back to school makeup look. You can use this look to go to school or if you're just at the mall or you know whenever you want but this is more of a makeup look for school. Um, it's very simple. Um, yeah, just continue to watch if you want to see the stuff that I used. And this is what the look looks like. Um, just really natural eyes, some pink cheeks, same pink um, natural lips. And I tried to use minimal product and I tried to make it really fast. Okay, so you have two choices. Actually, you have three choices. One is to put on your foundation, which I'm not going to be doing today because I don't put on foundation when I go to school. Um, second is tinted moisturizer, and third is just some concealer and powder. So I'm going to combine the two steps. So I'm going to be using tinted moisturizer and the concealer, then powder. I'm putting a little bit of this onto my finger. So I'm just going to put that all over my face. You can use your hands to do this, but I like using a brush because I need a little bit more coverage. So I'm just going to blend this out. Okay, so now that my face is sort of evened out, I'm going to conceal. I'm taking my Angel Fit Perfect Concealer by Maybelline, and this is in the color 02 Natural Beige. I'm just taking that under the eyes on my blemishes around the nose and anywhere else that I have redness, like a little bit on my cheeks and my forehead. So you're just going to take your ring finger and just dab on that. I'm going to try to use as little brushes as I can because you want to be out the door really fast. So just dab that with your finger. To lightly powder your face, um, I'm just going to be using this Maybelline pressed powder in the color Golden 05, if you can see that. I'm going to be using the sponge that comes with it just for under my eyes so that my... Um, my concealer won't crease. Go back in with my flat top brush and I'm just going to buff this onto my face. Okay, so now we're going to be doing the eyebrows. This is optional. If you have already really good eyebrows, then you can totally just skip this step. But I'm just going to go ahead and do my eyebrows for those who always do their eyebrows. Really often I see girls in my school with really drawn on eyebrows and I'm pretty sure that they use um, eyebrow pencils. And I don't recommend that for school because it really looks like your eyebrows were drawn in and it looks fake and it, well, it's hideous. So I suggest people use um, like eyeshadows, like matte brown eyeshadows or an eyebrow kit like this. This is from e.l.f. This is what I'm going to be using. So since my eyebrows are pretty dark, I'm just taking the powder so that my eyebrows will be a little bit lighter since your eyebrows should be two to three shades lighter than your hair color. Just um, comb out your eyebrows. This will groom them a little bit more and if you put on too much powder, um, this will sort of soften it a bit, so just brush them out. Okay, now we're going to do the eyes. And um, you could use a primer if you want because you will be um, out the whole day. So you could use a primer, but I prefer to use primers for when I'm going out at night. So what I like to do is I use cream shadows like this one. This is the Revlon Illuminance Cream Shadow in Not Just Nudes. And you get four colors. And I'm going to be using this lightest color all on my lids. So I'm sort of using this as a primer. So just put a light amount of this all over your lids up to the brow bone. And just put very little so that it won't crease later on. You can take a little bit of a darker color like this one or these three. Um, and put that on the crease.
and you can be done just like that. But um, here's another trick: if you don't, um, if you're not going to be using a cream shadow like this, you can take your bronzer and just take a fluffy brush like this. Take a little bit of your bronzer and put that onto your crease. And then you can take that same brush and just take a little bit of your powder and use that as a highlight. And then if you have a highlighter or something, you can put that in your inner corner or on top of the cream shadow. I like to use this Mary Luminizer. So I'm just putting that all over the lid and into the inner corners. So I'm just going to use the CoverGirl Lash Blast Fusion. This is the non-waterproof one. If you want to look awake and not like dead, you can use a stick concealer or a spot concealer like this. It's just um, and use it as an eyeliner for your waterline just so that your eyes will look brighter and you look more awake and if you didn't put any um, highlighter in your inner corners you can use this too to just draw in draw, draw on your inner corners a bit and just sort of blend it out with your finger so what we're going to be using on our cheeks, we are going to be using for our lips. What I'm talking about is the Stila Convertible Color. So you can use this on your cheeks and on your lips. Or you can use something like this. This is from Paintbox. Um, it's a lip and cheek stain. And you can actually also use this on your lids. Um, so I'm going to show you how these two can be used. I will use this on my lips and then I will use this on my cheeks. But these two can be used on your cheeks and on your lips. Just take a small amount onto your finger like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of dab that on my cheeks and blend it out. A nice thing about this, this one, is that it's really not oily. It lasts a long time. Um, it makes you look glowy and alive, and it's really small, so you can just take it with you anywhere. But the really, um, something that's not good about this is that it dries fast, so you have to blend fast. If, um, if you don't blend it properly, you can, you can have like a line right here, and that's not good. So this is really good for people with oily skin. Now my lips are moisturized and things like this sort of get your lips dry. What to do with this is I take my ring finger and sort of just get a little bit. And this is really, really, really pigmented so you just need a tiny bit and this is enough. So I like to put that on my lips and just blend it out. What I like to do is I start in the inner part like right here inside and blend it outwards toward my lip line so that it looks natural and you are done. So yeah, this is the finished look. You are glowing. Um, if you're too glowy <laughs> like me, your face is um, a bit oily because of the moisturizer, then you can just blot your face out do this on my skin. I don't drag it because that's bad for your skin. And you're good to go. So, yeah, this is the finished look, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.